tip number 100. Hooray! Create a board release procedure. What is it board release procedure? How it is useful? Why we are speaking about this? Board release procedure can be, for example, a document which uh, describes the steps which you should be doing when you are finishing your project. Yeah? When you are finishing your project, you need to generate uh, some documents. You need to go through some steps, check if there are no errors and this kind of stuff. Yeah? And uh, if you don't create any document about this, Sometimes you may remember, sometimes you may forget. Eh, who knows? Yeah. This is exactly how uh, what was happening when I was starting with hardware design. We never had ball release procedure, so sometimes I'm gen I generated uh, documents and only one was missing. Sometimes I generated documents and two or three were missing. Yeah, and this easy. Everything was easy when I was starting. But then it's that's not the proper way to do it because always when you forget something you need to do it later you need to go back to your project you need to generate it there are some delays maybe you by mistake you forget to do something really important like uh, run drc check or something yeah you don't want to forget run drc check before you release the document so then when i move to a bigger company so in the in my first job we never had this release procedure then when i moved to a bigger company they had board release procedure and that's when i first time learned that mm, maybe i should be doing something like this but i have to tell you that i never really liked board release procedures because uh, it's kind of boring and sometimes it takes days to generate all the documentation and uh, you know if you find a mistake then you need to fix it and then you need to do it all again it's yeah but it has to be done when i uh, uh, when i uh, left the company and i when i set up my own company and i started uh, designing for uh, clients i was doing freelancing one of the first things what I created was board release procedure because I wanted to be sure that always when I generate uh, the documents from the project I always wanted to be sure that when someone takes all these documents generated during board release procedure you can they can uh, take them and they can manufacture boards based on these documents without asking you any questions. This is the goal of board release procedure. I'm going to show you how we do it uh, in our company so you can get idea what you may want to include in the board release procedure. So have a look. Uh, we are speaking about our directory structure in different tip. So this is how uh, our project will look in the release directory. You will find there all these uh, subdirectories and you will find there also this uh, document. This is the release document. And we can uh, read it together. So follow this procedure before releasing files. Confirm every action with your initials and date. It's very important that uh, all the steps are signed by someone because uh, someone always has to be responsible for the final documents. If something is wrong, you know, who is going to be blamed? Who is responsible for uh, uh, checking the final garbers? Someone has to be. So put the, the initials and date under each step. If any changes need to be done, start the procedure from beginning. This is what I, I don't li really like, but I think it's, uh, it's very important. Yeah? If you are in the middle of generating documents and if you, 
If you find out that there is something wrong and you need to change something in the schematic, then you really need to start from beginning because as you can see here, very first step is compile the project and see if there are no errors. So if you change something in the schematic, you really should compile the project and see if you have not created any new errors. You cannot just continue generating rest of the documents. You need to start from beginning. So I don't really like this, but uh, it's necessary. Now, the procedure needs to be executed in order as defined here. Start from number one. So number one, right click on the project, compile PCB project. This is about Altium, but it's basically DRC check uh, of the project, DRC check of the schematic. Once you do it, then you go into your PCB and then update PCB document. Uh, this means uh, your schematic is fully in synchronization with your PCB. You don't want to make changes in schematic and then find out your PCB is different. Yeah. Impedance. So you check. I confirm I have updated and checked track width gap to match required impedance. You check your PCB, your tracks in the PCB with the information provided by your PCB uh, manufacturer and you compare if the impedances and track geometry uh, is correct. Sometimes may happen that you have this uh, document from PCB manufacturer, but you forget to, I don't know, update uh, track width in your PCB. Then, you know, impedance in your PCB will not be correct because it doesn't follow document from your PCB house. So you need to double check the tracks if they have the correct impedance, if they have the correct geometry. Run tools, polygon pours, rebuild all. So you need to be sure that all the polygons have been uh, updated. Yeah. Run tools, design rule check, run design rule check. You need to be sure you run uh, design rule check in your PCB. So there are no violations. Gerber check. So you confirm that uh, you generated uh, all the Gerber files and you had a look on the Gerber files and they all seem to be correct. And in the step seven, generate the other files. Yeah, I confirm, I have copied and checked files placed in some directories. So these last uh, two steps, they actually have some sub steps. And if you go, if you follow our uh, Fedevel directory structure, if you go inside, for example, step one, you will find there this readme file where is description what you should be what you should include in all these directories so in this uh, pcb manufacturing directory it says include the, the pcb stack up yeah so you need to put it here then you go inside this gerber uh, directory and uh, i don't have it here because i deleted the readme file when i was generating the gerbers but you would find there there is description that you need to place Gerber files here. Then here, here is readme file. So you need to put here uh, some screenshots where you show the PC manufacturer where uh, are the specific impedances, where are the tracks with specific impedances. Yeah. Then different directory drill files. Yeah. And as you can see, then you just follow all the directories, you follow all the readme files, and that's how you generate all the documents which are needed for someone to build your board. In all these readme files, there is everything. There is no way you forget to generate something. If there is a missing document. Yeah, if someone asks us, okay, we would need also this very special bomb. We add this into our release procedure. So next time we generate it automatically and we are not going to forget about this file. There is so many information just here. See, generate this, 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 this. 
there are so many information during this uh, release procedure that you may not be surprised that when uh, I was starting with hardware design, I always forget something because I didn't have this list because there are so many things. You, I always forget something. This ball release procedure is extremely useful, it's very useful. Just listing all the documents which you need to generate, that's so useful. And as I say, you don't really want to forget run, I don't know, design rule check before you start doing this release procedure. So it's very important, okay? I'm pretty sure you understand how important it is. It's so boring to do it. It's so annoying sometimes when you have to start again, but it's so important. That's why I choose this as, as the tip number 100, because I think it's very important. Tip number 100, create a board release procedure. Why? You really want to be sure that you have done all the necessary steps and you have generated all the documents.